When you're making amines, very often you need to make a secondary amine. Now the way that we're going to make a secondary amine is to start with a primary amine. So we're going to take our primary amine and we are going to, going to, we're going to add an R, another R group to make it secondary. So you kind of pre-assume that you have access to a primary amine. There are many, many ways to make that. We're actually going to see two different ways to make primary amines. Um, one involves using an imine. So, oh, we, we know all about imines. We can take a primary amine and we can react this. with, I'm not sure why I did that, let's go back, with an aldehyde, and maybe we did this in methanol, and this will form an imine once we lose water. Now, our goal wasn't to make an imine, our goal was to make a secondary amine. Well, what you do in the next step is, and we don't need separate steps, this is just sodium borohydride and methanol. And imines are actually very much like uh, aldehydes and ketones. Aldehydes and ketones can be attacked by hydride. Um, in fact, all carbonyls can be attacked by hydrides from uh, things like sodium borohydride. And the carbon nitrogen bond can also be attacked. So we attack at that carbon. we form an N minus. And if you want to be picky about it, there is a sodium floating around here. And in this reaction, we have a proton source, we have methanol. And so we'll protonate this N minus with the methanol. And what do we have? Um, I've drawn a little fancier and it may be convoluted, but that's actually a secondary amine. Okay, so this this method works really well. It has a name. People call this a reductive amination. The reductive amination um, involves taking, an uh, taking this primary amine, making the amine, and then reducing it with sodium borohydride. <clears throat> okay, what's the other way? This other way we're going to go through an amide. It's also a reductive process. And again, we will start with a primary amine. And we can react this. This goes back to our first semester of chemistry. We can react with this acid chloride in the presence of base. Always blows me away. This base is very often sodium hydroxide. Um, it's called a Schott and Baumann reaction. And what we make, if we walk through that mechanism, and we're not going to here, but simply attack by the nitrogen, make the tetrahedral intermediate, we end up pulling those electrons back down, kick out the chloride, and we deprotonate our nitrogen, and we form an amide. And now our goal is not to make an amide, but to make a secondary amine, and we can treat this with lithium aluminum hydride. It will reduce the carbonyl of the amide and we get an R, an R group in its place or not an R group in its place but we remove the carbonyl and this gets us to a secondary amine. So these are both methods that re, uh, to make secondary amines but, but both of them require us to have access to a primary amine. But these are really simple common methods that people use to make secondary amines.